And we're back with Vanilla Minecraft. Here at the Witch Farm, as I said last episode I would be. And, uh, oh, it's worked. Um, using Optifine, let me show you. Video settings, uh, quality. Right here, swamp colors off. You turn it off, and then you don't, you don't get those, uh, that ugly, um, it's like, uh, this brownish purpley grass um, you get a nice green color which I very much prefer even on the leaves and everything um, so that's cool that's worked um, but yeah so I've been getting suggestions of course let me read them in the book things to do change the farm floor to half slabs yep lengthen the timer yep finish the swap hunt yep and show what's in the other six pages of this book as you can see this is page six of six and there are five more other pages. Um, yeah, so change farm floor to half slabs. Definitely got to do that. Um, that will... Um, I'm not sure exactly what it will do. It was a suggestion, though. Um, but I know it will do something, actually. I knew about that. Oh, I should shut this off. I knew it would do something before. Um, it... Uh, um, I think it helps the witches uh, fall through... Uh, the floor easier or something like that um and maybe i'll make them spawn fast or something i'm not exactly sure these might actually be half slabs oh yeah they're they already are half slabs <laughs> um but just gonna switch into these kind of half slabs and then make the timer uh slower which yeah i should uh, i should already known about that um okay i'm just gonna break all these i mean i should have had a much slower timer uh, like, I've been AFK probably in total for five or ten hours already. Um, just like, yeah, I just go AFK um, for, you know, a while, whatever. Yeah, if I have to go somewhere, um, then I, I just, you know, leave it on. And, uh, yeah, so, um, and I've been getting quite a lot of drops. Um, this is extended, so, yeah, this should be here. And I'll show you those later. Um, uh, but yeah, so all, like, this isn't really that efficient, but I mean, I have been getting tons of drops. But if I had, um, made the timer before, um, like, made the timer longer when I originally made the timer, then this farm would be so much more efficient, so much more faster. Um, I would have gotten way, way more drops, probably. Um, so I... I'm going to use a hopper timer, only it's going to be um, a little different. It's not going to be the same sort of hopper timer that I already used. Um, yeah, so oh, I'm just building up with these house slabs. I should have stored these. Uh, yeah, I was chopping down some trees at the, uh, the swamplands. Um, and that's where the apples and saplings came from. And man, swamp tree give off so much um so many saplings and uh oh oh there's a leak i didn't patch that leak i mean yeah they give so many saplings and and even apples too because there's there's just like so many leaves on them um so chopping them down for wood is really good uh, but i went to the tree farm and brought back a ton of wood um, and I even brought some birch wood because I should have been doing this before, but, um, using birch for stuff like, um, chests because they all look the same, doesn't matter what wood you use. Um, yeah, using them for chests and, uh, crafting benches and sticks, although we have plenty of sticks from the witches. Um, ridiculous amount of sticks. Um, so probably not for that. Um, but, oh, I could have fallen there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, just making sure I don't miss anywhere. And all these half slabs are just going to go, they're going to go to the bottom, they're going to end up in the hoppers. And, uh, I guess they're going to push up all of the, uh, all the items that are stuck in the hoppers as well. So that'll be good. And last one there. Um, not to, uh, get out there. Oh, sweet. There. And, oh, I forgot to fix that. Grab that. 
Uh, let's just patch it up with iron right now. <laughs> um, oh, also I've been collecting the brown mushrooms as well because those grow under the trees and then I don't want those to, because they'll pop off in sunlight. And I don't want those to, uh, to just, you know, be wasted. Okay, here we go. I cleared out my inventory and I prepared for it. So I had to, of course, I had to seal off all the water again and create a new roof above. We're going to make the redstone. And with this little platform here, um, everything's ready. I'm um, sorry, I relocated the torch. You know, the torch, the, the lever, like, there's the lever. You turn it on, it, um, it shuts off a torch directly under here, um, which allows the hopper to, like, it lets the hopper move the items around and stuff. So that's right under here. Um, so let's just place them in a circle like this. Um, so this hopper is going to be like the, the turning off and on hopper. Um, and then how it goes is, let me think, yeah, so this here, we need repeaters as well, um, I guess I made a little bit too many, and then a block, um, oh, another spot there, <clears throat> um, so the comparator goes into this block, which, because this block powers this redstone, which activates this repeater, which locks this hopper, um, so when the items go into this hopper, it's locked as long as this has items in it. Um, and then once this doesn't have items, this this can flow. It'll let the items go in here. But then this one will be locked as well. So blam, 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 blam. Um, and then repeats here. Block, redstone, repeater. And right here is going to be the... Uh, the redstone that activates it all. Um, so if I, I think I have to add a repeater here, and then I just wire it up there. Um, now is that 15 blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes up seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, exactly fifteen. If I counted that correct. Oh, yeah, so that's good. Uh, and then I just have to add the last one there. That's not good. I, oh, I just have to do there. Um, and then block, cobblestone, why not? It's not like we're going to be seeing it. There, and then the items I'm just going to throw in. Four, six, whoops, eight sticks. Just look how it looks. And then it'll retract when it gets to here. Um, and then I have to make a wire. One, two. I guess I have to have a repeater here. There. And then go with this. Right to here. And this is definitely going to need a repeater. It's too far away. So I'll just throw the other repeater right there. Working. No, you're locked. Oh, again. Um, I keep wondering why it's not working. I keep forgetting about the torch underneath. Right, so that pushes for that. Pushes, pushes. Good, good, good. All good. Um, yeah, so um, now I just have to take my slabs and make sure everything is um, not being able to spawn on. So everywhere here. Um there and do I have more nope okay I can make more I'll just make no not all that that should be good probably too much and of course the rain again I gotta get a bed because I said I was gonna make a, a bed bedroom um yes yeah, so I'm gonna want to make one of those pretty soon that so I can actually sleep the night away um you know what this doesn't even have to be there um, yeah, so let me, let me just finish this, make sure everything, and then I have to dump the water, uh, make sure everything is spawn-proof, and then we can continue building. Alright, so let's check out what we have so far. Already a stack of glass bottles, that's really good, and 11. Good amount of redstone, decent amount of glowstone, I was hoping to have more, um, but I guess it'll come, because I actually want to use glowstone in this build as well. Um, gunpowder's alright. 
Sugar is good. Crazy amount of sticks. I have no clue what it, what is up with like these sticks. I think everything should be pretty evenly. It's it's zero to six for every single item being dropped. Yet yeah, we're getting crazy amounts of sticks. I think I might have dropped some sticks down. Um, but I mean not not like a stack or two stacks. This is crazy. And of course, spider eyes count is up as well. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping hoping for more. Glowstone, redstone, and water bottles is the main thing that I want. And gunpowder, too, because eventually we're going to use that TNT and stuff. Um, but, of course, I also plan on having a um, mob farm. A, uh, yeah, mob farm for, like, all drops. Um, you know, zombie, skeleton, and creeper. Mob farm sometime. Um, that's that's too big of a project for now, though, so that'll come a long time from now. Um, now we're going to build... Um, yeah, we gotta finish this thing. Oh, we just got some new items. Traveling through here. Yeah, look, stuff is going through. It's working really well. Um, let me go check what we have in here. Yep, I knew there was gonna be some half slabs. I already pulled out, like, a stack and a bunch of wood. Um, unfortunately, we're still getting these skelly drops and bones and rotten flesh. Ah, that's not good. But still, we're getting way more getting way more witch um drops so you know what? i'm just gonna ignore it um so yeah anyways got all the wood stuff here um this water book can go away in the book i'll show you what i've written later um so i'm gonna need this and i'm gonna use this dark wood as the roof but everything else is gonna be this oak wood and um yeah there and then, and I said this is going to be for everything that is, um, the birch for everything that is, like, chests and crafting benches and stuff. Although I don't think I need any more chests anymore. Welcome back! And, yeah, I've been doing quite a lot of work, as usual. Um, is that sun going down or up? Down? Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, but anyways, just quickly, I'll explain everything. I'm just going to repair, dig deep. Three durability left. Um, this is the third time me repairing this. This is crazy. Um, but it's an epic. Oh, I don't have my volume on. It's an epic shovel, though, so it's definitely worth it. And Witchbane is going to be after repaired soon as well. And this is my other diamond pickaxe. Efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3. Um, the other one that I was using before, somewhere around here. Um, anyways, so yeah. Place looks different, doesn't it? Um, so, okay, so I moved the nether portal up, right? Um, then I just made a dock along here. And, uh, up here, this is like a thing. This is, this is gonna be like a storage room so far. I just have dirt everywhere because there's so much damn dirt. Um, and then we got the main area here. Um, this is a nice little sort of, sort of cool pattern that was left by the, uh, by the, the supports. Um, that, that I placed to cover up, um, the redstone for the, for the on and off switch. You know what? This, is this on? Okay, it is. Um, I was breaking some redstone, so I thought it might have been shut off. Um, anyway, so I moved the, the maintenance area over here. Um, here's where I'm having trouble on. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this side. Make it curved or whatever. Oh, yeah, that, that's this. What do you got in here? Stick? So many sticks. And spider eye. Um, yeah, so this, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do that later. Um, so, uh, for those of you who are fans of DocM77 and his Let's Play the Minecraft World Tour, um, you probably recognize that this looks pretty similar. And yes, I'm pretty much copying Doc. Um, I'm, I've got a few different kind of changes um, that I'm doing. I mean, like, I've got a different kind of roof. Um, but essentially, I am copying up with these kind of windows, and then I changed the floor to half slabs and everything, um, which makes it look a lot nicer. Um, I can't get up this backwards there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I changed all the half slabs, and then, yeah. Um, but other than, like, copying these windows and stuff, it's pretty much my own design. Um, pretty much. So, uh... 
Um, but yeah, I I spent I've spent quite a lot of time on this. I couldn't really get it working to look like how I um, liked it, so I was just watching some Dot Cam, saw his style for his witch hut, and so that's what I went with. Um, then I got a dock out here with just a couple of lily pads, and then we we're here. Um, just in case I have to do some maintenance on there. Um, I could change the, the timer, actually. Well, oh, I should probably put some more lily pads here. I could, I could like, change the timer um, in case I ever want to change it ever again. I can easily via here. And yeah, I think I've shown pretty much everything. There's just the roof left. And uh, this is going to be the bedroom. Um, and then I just have to finish off this, get, whoops, get this looking how I want it to look. And then I can finish this room off. Um, so we can do that once I'm done. Um, yeah, I've been caving quite a lot as well. Um, I don't have anything on me here that I have. Oh, yeah. The, um, got some more diamonds, so that's where I got the diamond shovel for another dig deep from. And spent some time at the, at the wood farm as well. Okay, so just like all the other projects that I've worked on, it's going to take a lot more time to finish them. This is done, of course, but there's still plenty to light up. Um, and plenty more of the witch hut, or my swamp hut, to actually finish up. Um, so I'm going to end the episode here, and um, I'm not going to be working on this anymore. Um, on camera anyways. Um, like, I'm not going to record anything. And uh, I'll just finish it up off screen, probably. Um, I've got a few more things, little projects that I'm going to work on here. Maybe I'll show those as well sometime later. Um, but... For now, this project is finished. Time to move on to something else. Um, as I said, yeah, I'm going to finish letting as much of the stuff up as I can. Finish building on everything. Um, but in the next episode, we're going to be working on a brand new project. And I don't know what it's going to be. I'm thinking... Sun going down? Yeah. thinking we're going to work in the nether. I don't know how you, how you guys feel about that. Um, I want to, though. I want to get like a rail system set up and everything. Uh, where is the book? Here it is. So I'm going to show you what's in the book that I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. Okay, so here is what I've written in this book. Originally there were six pages, but the sixth page I deleted because that was just a list of things. Remember at the beginning of the episode? Uh, which I finished most of those. Anyway, so I wrote a very short, little, descriptive, it's almost like a paragraph, not even a story. Um, but a, a, sh a short story about, um, I'm not going to read it, but I'll just tell you what it's about. So, basically I'm like, oh, lately, while hiding at my swamp, I've been hearing crazy noises. And I describe all these noises, these crazy, crazy music. And then, uh, then there's like, there's like fires popping up and then, then this song starts to play. And I guess you could pause the video and read it for yourself. I'll let you do that. Um... And then I'm like, and this crazy thing that haunts my marshes at night is called Huck the Hermit. So there's a crazy, crazy hermit named Huck the Hermit. And he is just being a crazy guy. He's he's roaming around my swamps being a nut, nutcase. And um, yeah, so I thought, I thought I'd just randomly write a random story. Um, so as I said, if you want, you can just pause the video here, read this, and pause it here. Pause it there, pause it there, pause it there, and read it. It's nothing really special or anything. It's not at all close to my best work. Um, but I thought I'd just write something just random about this swamp. Um, but yeah, this Huck the Hermit guy, he is he is not happy because you know how I'm destroying the swamp with my shovel. Um, he is not happy about that because um, he thinks it's his swamp. But it's my swamp. It's my marshlands. So, yeah, stay away for me hot thermite <laughs> um yeah so anyways that's all for now this episode i'm going to end um like i said next episode we are going to start a new project uh which i think is going to be in the nether i think i'm going to work on the nether hub um i get some rails get a rail system going and stuff like that um but yeah thanks for watching as always and goodbye